Hey guys, I bet you all saw these very weird ads on Instagram where you have to choose what to do in certain scenarios. There were very relatable situations like I wanna pee, what should I do? Pee in her mouth or divorce? No one really took that serious, but I decided to play this game so you won't have to. I would say that if there will be such scenarios where I have to choose between divorce and peeing in someone's mouth, that would be kind of fun. Wish me luck, guys. My family moves a lot. Another city or town. Another mansion. Another batch of disposable boys. What? 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 Um, am I the only one seeing a problem here? Just at the beginning of the game? I mean, I get the whole rich thing. Another city, another mansion, and all this stuff. Because Nowadays, everyone wanna be rich and successful, and kids are no exception here. But this clearly states that the main character is manipulative bitch. I'm just not sure that's a great role model. Okay, so the plot here is the following. This is our seventh school. Yeah, seventh. Hey honey, uh, have you been expelled from school again? Um, yeah, cause you know, I'm too cool for them. Jesus, Kim, not again. I told you to stop. I am too cool for that. Well, that was the last school in our town. Guess we're gonna have to move again for the seventh time. Thank you so much. And we need to take it over. Ooh, customization. Great. Let's make someone fully ugly to, you know, truly relieve our school experience. Okay, so here you can make only a beautiful character. That's a sad thing, but okay, let's move on. Time to pick some appropriate clothes for our first day at our new school. Um, what the fuck is that? This is probably the most whorish way to dress on your first day at new school. And this game kinda encourages you to look like that. What I mean is, um, if you wanna stick with this outfit, you have to pay with in-game currency. And you can buy that currency with real-world money. And also, I mean, you can dress wherever you like, no slash shaming or anything, but this game is for kids. And you don't really need to look this way to make a good first impression. Maybe I wanna have huge glasses and a weird bow tie and have awful hair just like that. Maybe this is the way I wanna look and present myself. I mean, not every girl possibly maybe wanna look like that, but that's like the only choice you have. Okay, let's move on. I can complain for ages here. Oh, that was an effective entrance. Wow, who's that girl? Uh, what do you expect to hear? I mean, he sees her for the first time in his life, just as you are. He does not have any extra information about her. She's cute, but dressed like a dud. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, what? What the hell is your problem, Emmett? Or you think that if you have a name from a Twilight character, you're better than me? I mean, really, uh, do you know any Emmets out there? Because I don't. Also, we are dressed very appropriately. Or did we have to pick that uh, hooker outfit to impress you, huh, Emmet? Hey, great! Oh, you know what? Go f Now that I've got their attention, um, you know, they think you're dressed like a dud. Uh, <laughs> just a total win-win. Time to really mean! Our first choice, let's make it smart. Flash a big smile and wave. Show someone out of your way, or drop a pen and pick it up. Slowly. Well, this game clearly shows you that if you want to be successful at your new school, you have to dress like a whore. So, let's go with that, because, you know, I couldn't allow myself to be a whore at my school during my school time, because to, you know, reasons. And so maybe now it's my time to shine bright like a diamond. Uh, what? Um, I know that ragdoll animation can be overwhelming sometimes, but I just witnessed, like, the most bizarre way to be sexy while picking up a pen. Really. Holy balls, that's the greatest thing I've ever seen! Okay, Kentwood Takeover, Phase 1. Um, <laughs> looks like we have this kind of, you know, evil plan on how to take over the school and, um, that looks like a tiny, tiny problem for a girl. I mean, I'm not a shrink, I'm not judging, but yeah, it's not my business, just let's move on. First, make an entrance. 
Done. Then find a loyal sidekick, because, you know, all the cool guys have their own sidekick. So relatable. I mean, did you have a sidekick? Because, well, all the popular guys did. Now I need a loyal number two. Someone I can trust to gather info for me. <laughs> to do what? To gather info? I mean, but what about, you know, assassinations, blackmailing and all, all other typical school stuff? Jesus, gather info. Who should I pick? I know her type. Typical beta bestie. Desperate for validation. Oh, and we're not judgmental at all, right? She'd be super loyal and great number two. Pick Jenna or keep looking? Just pick Jenna. How should I start this convo? Yeah, <laughs> convo, yo. Cause long words are so lame. I love your eye makeup. Who said you could look at me? You are crazy sexy. Definitely crazy sexy. Wow, you're crazy sexy. Seriously? Thanks! <laughs> okay. Um, sometimes this game is gonna be kinda boring, so I'm gonna, you know, skip and edit out some boring parts. I'm Jenna! What's your name? Huh. Hmm. Uh, what's our name? I want to be girly and very hoary and sexy at the same time, like smoking hot. Trump. <laughs> Trump, I'm so glad you came to Kentwood. Yeah, better go to Kentwood, you know, that's a better place. Step two is complete. <sighs> there are so many hotties here. Yeah, that's definitely like the first thing you care about at your new school, right? Like the first. I'll definitely have to assemble some of the local fruits. Am I the only one who gets a bit disgusted by that? Am I the widow here? <laughs> what? She just had a blank face and in a second she was like, Whoa! Can you, can you imagine this in real life? <laughs> who caught your eye? Hottie 1, Hottie 2, Hottie 3. Let's go with the blonde because, yeah, why not? That hottie just kicked a soccer ball in my way! I have to think fast! What do I do? Catch it, dodge it, take a hit for love? No, you know, screw you, I'm not gonna suffer because some idiot decided to play this weird old-fashioned ball that you never see anywhere except old TV and stupid commercials. Um, so, catch it! Is this really how you catch a ball? Whoa, sorry about that, I was practicing my toe bounces and lost control of the ball. Hold on, Chris. I saw you standing there perfectly still with two more people just like you would do in real life. I definitely need to spend more time with him. Why? Uh, he sucks at, you know, bouncing a ball and he's dumb enough to play the inside. You have a bad taste, girl. Now I need to find the head bitch in charge. Step 3. Identify the head bitch in charge. I named Dits. Who runs this place? The Queen Bee, the Alpha, the Head Bitch. Oh, you're talking about Riley and her squad. She's terrible. She has an Insta dedicated to body shaming other students called Muffin Top Raid. This is super messed up. And last year she got a girl expelled just because she wore the same skirt as her. Okay, I know that this is just a game, but no one would ever do this, because this is like, too dumb, literally, no one, ever. She planted stolen answers to finally examine her locker. Okay, I know what you're trying to do here, game. Because we're playing for kinda bitch and whore, the game needs a worse character, even more bitch and this evil, evil thing in the form of human being. Outstanding move, game. Outstanding move. She needs to be dethroned immediately! Yeah, so we could take her place. Bingo! Time to send a message. Awesome! Say what? That Riley does not mean shit to me. Yeah, because great, you know? The best way to show someone that you don't care about them is to come up with some evil master plan to prove it. She's going to expect me to introduce myself to her, but watch this. Well, um, she's gonna expect you to introduce yourself because that's kinda how being polite works. You're a new student, 
So, like, that's okay for you to be first to introduce yourself, but seems like you have a different opinion on that girl. Step 4. Send a message. How should I mess with Riley? Compliment Riley's friend, ask an insulting question, or walk past her? Mm. You know what, I actually got pretty bored with this game, because I've been playing it for quite some time now, don't forget I added out some parts, and it's like my fourth time I'm choosing something or kinda. I thought it would be the whole thing, the main thing where I have to choose the strategies and where they're fun, you know, and challenging, like peeing in someone's mouth, please let me pee in her mouth, that's what I wanna do, that's why I'm here at this game, cause I wanna pee in mouth. But okay, let's continue for now and just for you guys. So let's ask an insulting question. Hey, do you freshmen know where the crepe station is? Oh man, this is the most insulting question I've ever heard. Watch your tongue, young lady. Freshman? Oh, I see. Never mind. Bye. Okay, that was a really bizarre way to make an enemy. Step 4 is complete. Wow, that was a message alright. Well, at least someone is impressed with that. Jesus, when this chapter will end? I mean, it just sucks my soul out into the void of boredom. Step 5. Throw a huge party. Hey everyone! My parents are out of town! <laughs> it's so funny because if you don't have to continue it right now, it just looks like no one cares about us and ignores. Party this Friday at my family's mansion! It's going to be the biggest razor in Candle Academy history! Drop chatting you all that dress now! Okay, I'm done. Seriously. I'm sorry, but I'm done. This is. This is like the most boring game I've ever played on my smartphone. I clearly understand that I'm not, you know, target audience of the developers because I'm not 12 and I'm not a girl. If I were 13 and girl, I would rather play Sims or just, you know, any other game that exists in the world. For the whole game that I played, I made something like five choices or less or just, you know, one more and that's not enough to catch my attention. For the most part, this game is just reading boring dialogues, and I don't like it. Also, I really hate the way the game portrays the main character. We're always bragging and flexing about our mansion, about our, you know, richness, about our clothes, and it's so cool to dress, you know, like a whore, and so on and so forth. And I really don't like it. Okay guys, I think you heard enough of my complaints, um, press like and subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed this video, also leave a comment if you want me to continue playing this game, and see ya!